So I had the chance to level up the Scar to its max level, which is level 65, in order to unlock and test out every attachment and come to a conclusion of what are the best attachments to use for this weapon. This is an incredible two-shot kill class setup, and we'll get into the details later, but here is a quick rundown of what I'm using on this gun after some testing. Now, keep in mind, this setup is designed to be used both aggressively for up close and it's also going to be viable from medium range so it's pretty flexible in that respect so for my first attachment i'm using the fss close quarters stock second attachment is the 25 round mags third attachment is the stippled grip tape fourth attachment is the forge tag cqc pro and the final attachment is the compensator now i tested out the scar to see how the weapon performs overall and the scar has a base aimed out sight speed of 356 milliseconds but with the attachments for my preferred class setup we do increase that aim down sight speed by 24 percent or 270 milliseconds and this is very noticeable the base scar is a very sluggish weapon by nature. You're going to find that aim down sight speed very slow, and it's going to be hard to compete against SMGs in this game. So increasing that aim down sight speed with my recommended attachments is crucial, especially with keeping in mind how fast you die in this game. So it's important to improve your speed. Now moving on to how many shots it takes to kill an enemy. From 5 to 30 meters, it's a 3 shot kill. And from 35 to 65 meters, it's a four shot kill. Now here's where it gets interesting. If you land two shots to the head from any range, even without stopping power, it becomes a two shot kill. So when you're using the scar, keep that in mind to aim for the head to reduce the amount of shots it takes to kill whenever possible. The recoil on this weapon does kick like a mule from long distances, so make sure to go for headshots at practical ranges. Now, if we use the stopping power field upgrade, it becomes a two shot kill from five to 30 meters, and then a three shot kill from 35 to 65 meters. Now, I know you're wondering what about stopping power rounds to the head? Well, I tested that and, and we don't see any reduction of shots it takes to kill at the head. It still remains a two shot kill regardless. Now, going back to the recoil on this weapon, the base scar has a recoil pattern that's very predictable. The recoil pattern travels up at about one o'clock. Now with the recommended attachments combined, more specifically with the compensator, we do keep almost the same bullet travel length. However, you'll notice the spread is not as tight, but it isn't anything to worry about. Now, just to the right of my preferred setup with the compensator is the Merc 4 grip attachment. We do see that the bullet travel length is just a bit longer, pretty much on par with the base scar, but you will notice that the bullet spread is much more spread out in those first couple of shots, which is why I did not go with this attachment. Also, this attachment does come with the negatives of your aim walking movement speed on top of your aim down sight speed, and mainly the aim walking movement speed is why I didn't want to go with this attachment because this particular setup is designed for more aggressive play. And to the right of the Merc foregrip is just an example of the class setup without the compensator to show why you actually need it to control that vertical recoil. The last two recoil patterns are from the bipod foregrip attachment which claims to help control recoil as well as crouch prone recoil control. Now the bullet travel pattern is slightly higher than the compensator and the Merc foregrip. However, the bullet spread is noticeably tighter. And this attachment does come at the cost of your movement speed on top of your aim down sight speed. But I wanna know, what do you guys think of the bipod foregrip attachment? Is it worth it? Is it worth using? You know, let me know down below in the comments. I'm really curious what your thoughts are on that attachment. And to be able to control the recoil on the scar, it's fairly simple. Just keep in mind to lightly drag your right thumbstick down as you're firing your weapon to counteract that recoil. And you also won't really notice the recoil if you keep your engagements from close to medium range so for the second half of the video i want to recap why i chose each individual attachment as well as additional tips while using the weapon as well as a full class setup including secondary perks tactical and lethal so starting off with the compensator we already broke down the recoil although this class setup is best used for close to medium range engagements having the compensator is still going to be important to minimize that vertical recoil as much as possible to counteract the reduction in recoil coil control that you get by equipping the Forge Tac CQC Pro barrel. So you're probably wondering, why did we put on the barrel? So there's two main reasons. 
This is an aggressive class setup and the ADS speed is fairly low as is. So moving around with this gun is going to be sluggish because of those 25 round mags that we also have equipped and will also reduce your movement speed. And equipping this barrel does give us a faster ADS as well as it counters the movement speed reduction from the 25 round mags. And the barrel also does come at the cost of reduction in bullet velocity, but it's not really important as it's only noticeable at very long ranges, such as if you're playing ground war and trying to cross map somebody. So don't worry about that at all. Next, we have the 25 round mags. This is necessary in my opinion due to the low ammo capacity of the SCAR at 20 rounds. It's just simply not enough. So equipping this attachment does make a lot of sense. There is a 30 round mag attachment, but it feels too sluggish since it makes the weapon heavier, essentially making it harder for aggressive play. Next is the stippled grip tape. This is a crutch perk for almost any weapon that offers this attachment. There's not much to say here about it other than it allows us to fire your weapon a lot faster after coming from a sprint as well as increasing that aim down sight speed, which is essential to winning those gunfights. And lastly, we have the close quarters stock. This is the best stock attachment in my opinion as it doesn't really have any penalties other than aiming stability which doesn't really matter. But we do get an increase in aim down sight speed which will complete that cracked aim type of movement. So moving on to secondary, it's all personal preference. You can use whatever you want. I'm just running a handgun for my secondary. There's nothing special about it. Uh, for perks, I'm running EOD. EOD is really important. It's one of those perks that you must run in Modern Warfare because of how overpowered explosives are in this game. Have you ever died to proximity mines or even C4s being tossed at you? It is just so annoying and it just really kills you off of your streak. And it's not fun when you're dying to stuff like that in the game. It's just unnecessary deaths that can be avoided. And that's exactly why I'm choosing EOD as my perk number one. And for perk number two, we've got on Ghost. The reason why I'm using Ghost is to stay hidden from enemy UAVs. That is the most important thing that you need to do in Modern Warfare because of how easy it is to obtain UAVs. Think about it. If the enemy team constantly gets UAVs, especially if you're playing against a party, you're definitely gonna stick out like a sore thumb if you're not running Ghost because they're gonna be able to spot you easily both on the minimap and on the compass, and they're probably gonna be coordinating with their teammates and letting them know your position. So always run with Ghost. Smart players always run with Ghost and that's how you avoid more unnecessary deaths and stay alive a lot longer. Now the reason why I'm using Tracker is because it literally allows you to find enemies by following their footprints that you see on the ground. You literally follow these illuminated footprints and it leads you to the enemy. It's just simple as that and this is extremely helpful in situations where you're flanking around the map or you're lone wolfing it and you're all alone and you just don't know where enemies are going to be coming from. Sometimes you might see footprints that weren't even there before and then you realize like oh well this is a spot that I need to be aware of in the future because I wasn't even sure that an enemy was capable of even staying in this type of area. But thanks to Tracker, Tracker is also helping you learn new things in the game. It really makes getting kills so much more easier as well as helping you stay alive. And since I prefer using the specialist bonus perks, I'm running scavenger for two kills to re-up on ammo since we're working with a small amount of ammo and hardline at four kills and battle hardened at five kills since we're using the hardline perk. And it will also reduce obtaining all of the perks at just seven kills. And for lethals, I'm using C4 to help me traverse around the map to toss it at enemies whom are camping in certain areas or toss it at someone during a gunfight. For example, if I've run out of ammo, but I don't have time to reload a c4 will bail you out of a lot of situations as well as get you easy kills especially when enemies are capturing objectives such as domination and for tactical i'm running with stim shot just to heal myself a lot quicker when i'm wounded to help me jump back into gunfights or get out of tight situations with confidence this is also going to be essential since we're playing a lot more aggressive we're more likely to come up on more enemies and get more damage taken so that's why running stim shot is going to be quintessential to this class setup all right you guys so that's about it for today's video Definitely let me know what you think of the video down below in the comments. Did you guys like my new setup here and how I'm presenting my information? Let me know in the comments so I can keep making videos like this. I'm always looking for ways to improve. And make sure if you're new around here and you're part of the 90% that do watch my videos all the time, 
but have not subscribed yet please officially join turbo nation help me reach 100k it would really mean a lot to me and drop a like if you did enjoy this video and i will see you guys in the next video peace